We've talked a lot so far in this video series about how Jay Bateman schemes to get one-on-one -on -one matchups for his pass rushers. We're going to take another look at an example of that here. This is a third and long situation. Again, this is where you start to see Bateman get really creative, although he'll do it sometimes on other downs. But first thing you notice, this is, this is long yardage, and he's got one, two, three, four, five, six guys on the line of scrimmage against a spread formation. And this looks like a quarters type look off the line of scrimmage, basically playing man to man effectively downfield is what it looks like. But as you can see, what he's going to do, he's going to drop a couple backers here. Yes, this is quarters, but they're, they're playing a relatively conservative quarters. They're going to try to force the ball to be thrown underneath well in front of the sticks and make the tackle. But here's where it's not just a straightforward quarters defense. By putting six guys on the line of scrimmage, he's got all six players in the potential pass, uh, pass protection accounted for. They're going to have to block one-on-one. -on -one. Now we're going to take a look at the other, and you notice they're able to flush the, flush the quarterback here. When we take a look at the other angle here from the end zone, notice, notice what happens. First of all, again, Buffalo playing games in terms of calling the, calling the plays at the line of scrimmage. But here's what they've got. They've got an overload to this side of the field, to, that, to the right side of the offensive line, left side of the defense, and that's going force to force the offensive line to slide right. And even with the slide right, you're going to have one, two, three, if all these guys come, there's still going to be a fourth guy that's going to be unblocked. So the offensive line has to be aware of how that's going to work, and they're going to have to keep on a swivel to make sure that, uh, that, that they don't get overloaded on that side. But what Bateman does is he actually drops one of the two players on this side. You'll see how this works. So you get all four that rush. So we'll go slow-mo from here. All four rush, and notice the back in this slide protection is going to be responsible for the end man on the line of scrimmage. Bateman knows this. He knows that if he shows six rushers, they're going to have to block with this back. So what does he do? He drops this backer into coverage. Now he gets the benefit, and let's slide back just a little bit to take a look at what this backer actually does. This backer is occupying a blocker because of where he's lined up on the line of scrimmage. Now watch what happens. If you're the offense, you're going to try to take the short side if you can get it, but they're not going to have that here because that backer is dropping and taking away anything on that short side. They're going to try to force throwing out here on a wide side throw, which is harder for the quarterback, and also be uh, well before the sticks. That's what they're doing, but... Basically, he's occupied a blocker, and he's covering that curl zone in the defense. So he, he occupies, he takes double duty here. Now, going back to the end zone view. What we'll notice here, they've got one-on-ones, end man there, and they don't actually have anyone to account for He's really a, a defensive tackle, but lined up as a, as a defensive end here with a hybrid safety backer outside him. But depending on how this all works out, he's going to have a pretty good path to the quarterback. And the, the design here is either to get a free rusher on the outside if, if the tackle doesn't take him, or to give him an option to figure out where that gap is going to be. And if this is done just right, and if he's a little bit better athlete. I mean, this is Army. And, you know, these are men that I want defending the country, but not necessarily this, the kind of athletes that Bateman's going to have access to at North Carolina. If this is a more fluid athlete, by the time this offensive guard figures out that he actually doesn't have a second rusher outside him, a really good fluid athlete is already into that gap. And again, there are some other stunts that they can run here that, that potentially put him through that, that, uh, that, that B gap there. 
But what he's doing is he's looping around, and this should be a, a straight straight line to the quarterback, but he doesn't quite get there because of just not quite being fluid. And the other thing is, again, this is Army. You don't have any one guy beating his his man. Buffalo's just got better athletes up front, but they're still able to flush the quarterback, still able to get pressure, and if he'd have taken – the early throw, it's still not a first down. This is exactly what Jay Bateman wants to do defensively. You're going to see a lot of it at North Carolina. It's going to be really interesting once he gets defensive linemen that are capable of winning those one-on-one matchups.